Please remain standing for the Foley High School alma mater. Foley schools are alma mater, to thy praise we'll sing. For ideals so lofty o'er us, to thee we will bring. Love, devotion, truth, and honor, FHS. I'm Maggie. I'm Kiana. Today is Thursday, March 2nd. And today is National Egg McMuffin Day. Now on the sports. Good morning, Lion fans. I'm Amy. I'm Casey. I'm Jackson. And you're watching The, the Locker, Locker Report. Report. Our girls' soccer team will have a game against Daphne away. Please come out and support. Anyone interested in playing football next season, please fill out the new player form in your class of Google Classroom page. And if you have any questions, see Coach Scott. Good luck to our track team as they compete in their first meet for the outdoor season at Bayside today. It's, it's game, game day! day. Woo! Good luck to our Lady Lions basketball team as they compete in the Final Four for the first time in school history against Sparkman at 12 today. Teachers, for more information, check your email on how to watch the game. Good luck to our JV baseball team as they will be competing against Escambia tomorrow. Good luck to our varsity baseball team as they will be competing against Williamson this Saturday. And that's all for your locker room report. Have a great day, full high school. Go, Go Lions! Lions. Beat. I'm Lillian. And today we have a runner for you. What well, has a neck but no head? A bottle. <laughs> Baldwin County Utilities Internships are looking for rising high school seniors in positions in electric, gas, water, warehouse, and wastewater. The internship dates are June 6th through August 5th. You can apply with Ms. Baxter. The applications are accepted through March 3rd. Ready? So as a part of my Red Ribbon Leadership Project, our school is supporting the William F. Green State Veterans Nursing Home. I'm asking students and teachers to support the veterans by bringing donations of iPhone chargers and blogs, toothpaste for sensitive teeth, alcohol-free mouthwash, men's body wash, deodorant, and lotion, men's belts that can be gently used, name brand deodorant like Old Spice, Dove, and Axe. We will be taking donations from February 27th to March 20th. Please turn these items into your home and teacher. We and our veterans appreciate your support. Congratulations and good luck on your scholarship contest. Foley High School Annual Talent Show is this Friday. Tickets are $2 and will be sold during Lunch Wave starting today. Seniors, make sure to check your Google Classroom for scholarships. There are a lot due this week. Hey Foley High School, I wanted to check in and let you guys know about a new thing that we have offered here called Paw Prints. It is our Foley High School podcast. We have filmed four episodes so far and we wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it. They're very interesting and it gives you an opportunity to hear from different coaches, faculty members, and teachers here at Foley High School. You can listen to Paul Prince on all the major platforms. We're on Spotify, um, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, and there's another one, but I can't think of it right now. Anyways, you should check it out. It's great. Juniors, ACT game day is coming up soon. Please join us for a free boot camp here on Saturday, March 11th to prepare. We will serve breakfast at 7.30 and get ready for the ACT from 8 to 12. Any students who have signed up arrive on time and then stay at the end and you will be able to miss school on Friday, March 24th, right before spring break. And sign up in your Google form on Google Classroom by your homeroom teacher. First come, first served. The choir department is selling umbrellas. They are $25 each. See Dr. Brown to purchase. We want to wish good luck to our indoor percussion JV and Varsity win a guard as they go to a competition at Daphne High School this Saturday. Good luck! For a freshman or a sophomore who would like to take the Peer Helpers elective next year, please access our online application by scanning the QR code on flyers outside Miss Champion's room 406, Miss Cody's room 508, or Miss Faison's room 810. Applications are due March 17th. Peer Helpers are excited to announce plans for a color run to take place during the school day in mid-May. If you would be interested in participating, please complete the interest form in your class of Google Classroom. We will have more details as we get closer to May. Welcome to our Teen Wellness Spotlight of the Day. 
Today we want to show a short three minute video called What is a Panic Attack? The more we know, the better we can help ourselves and those around us. I thought I was dying. It felt like I was having a heart attack. I ended up in the ER to make sure I wasn't. I got tunnel vision. I, I couldn't breathe. I felt like I would pass out for sure. Now I'm scared every day. What if it happens again? These are the voices of people who have had panic attacks. And once a person has even a single panic attack, the worst part can be the intense fear that it will happen again. I know. I've lived with that fear. My first panic attack happened on a day things were going fine. I was with my friend from work. We were driving home in rush hour traffic. It was busy, like always. I was talking to my friend while she drove and she was focusing on the road. All of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. My chest was tight. My palms started sweating and my heart pounded faster. And it was rising, like it was in my throat or ears. I looked at my friend and the car seemed to get smaller around us. I was positive I was dying right there and then, and I don't want to die. I was so scared, and she could tell. She asked if I was okay, and I shook my head no. I couldn't speak. She pulled over and called 911. After lots of tests, doctors in the ER told me my heart was fine. They said I was having a panic attack, and that they're pretty common. They gave me ideas about how to get help. The reason for a panic attack is sometimes clear, and sometimes a mystery. Panic attacks are a group of physical and mental health symptoms that happen all at once. Because of the intense physical sensations and anxiety, people can feel like they're dying. Some symptoms are a pounding heart, trouble breathing, chest pain, feeling tingly or lightheaded, and tunnel or blurred vision. People also feel terror, like something really awful is about to happen. For me, that moment in the car was like any other day until it happened. Either way, because a panic attack is so scary, once people have one, they are often afraid it will happen again. As a result, people change the things they do, the way they interact with others, their activities, and even how much they go to work or school. This collection of symptoms is known as panic disorder. Sometimes this becomes so serious that people stop leaving their houses to avoid places or situations that an attack might happen. This is called agoraphobia. But treatment really helped me, and treatment is available. I found a great therapist who knew what to do. For me, with a combination of medicine and therapy, I learned to live with the fear of future panic attacks and know what to do if one starts to happen. Panic attacks don't have to control your life. Although panic attacks are scary and you can feel like it isn't normal, just know that you're not alone and there are people on our campus who can help. High school is Pete. I'm Adam. And for today's lunch, we're having taco salad, chips, beans, and baby carrots. Friday we're having pizza, chips, and french fries. Don't forget your grab and go. Have a great day and go Lions. And that's all I fed Jess. Have a great day and, and go, go Lions. Lions.